Hi, my name is Steve Maruzzi. We're here at the Training Center. We're going to talk about the 63 hold code for a residential neotherm or Bradford White Brute Boiler. Anytime you're servicing or repairing a piece of equipment, please make sure you shut off gas and electric prior to making those repairs. So, for starters, we can see that we have a demand. The demand is central heat, that's the CH, and the boiler is in a 63 hold. LCI is off. That means something in the safety chain is open. So what I'm going to do here is remove the panels and we'll get in with a voltmeter and check our safety chain. I'm going to remove the lower panel and I'm going to remove the upper bezel simply by pulling forward and I want to lay this down on its face and the reason is this circuit board you don't want to lay it down on a piece of metal or gas line and short it out. You can actually shut the boiler off prior to doing that and what we're looking at here is the TB8 safety chain. Power comes in on this terminal and goes through a series circuit. Okay? And these series circuits, for instance, in the field, if you were installing a flow switch, you would loosen these two Phillips head screws, move the jumper, and install the two wires to the flow switch. Here is an optional high limit. Some uh, states require additional high limit out in the piping. Uh, very simply, loosen the Phillips, remove the jumper, and install your wires. And then here is a low water cutoff. But the very first thing we want to talk about here is our TB3 and our TB4 safety chain. This is our 24 volts. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure to make sure we have 24 volts simply by putting one meter lead on TB4 and the other meter lead on TB3. And if you look at the voltmeter, you'll see we have roughly 25 to 26 volts. By keeping one meter lead on TB4, and that's the yellow wires, that's 24 volt common, okay? Now we can come over here to our TB8 safety chain. You'll see we have 25 to 26 volts coming in. If you go across the next terminal and we lose it, that means our flow switch is open. Maybe you've got a broken flow switch paddle or the pump's not working. Next one over, we have 24 volts or 26 volts, but if we lost it here, that would mean our optional limit is open. Third terminal over is our low water cutoff, and I have 25, 26 volts coming in, but I do not have it coming back. Okay, so again, 25 to 26 in, nothing coming back. That's telling me my low water cutoff is open. We now have 25 to 26 volts leaving our safety chain. Again, power comes in on the right-hand side, goes through the safeties, and then out on the left-hand side. Um, I removed the two wires for the low water cutoff that was just being used for this example. Uh, however, if you want to jump out of safety, you can jump it out just for testing purposes. Never leave it jumped out. Uh, in that case, a low water cutoff would have had to been reset. Okay? Uh, so again, if you're going to jump something out, jump it out just for testing purposes, but never leave a safety jumped out. So right here, as you can see, all the way across the safety chain by using my TB4 terminal, I have voltage. However, if I look at my screen, I'm still in a 63 hold code. So that's telling me we're leaving our TB8 terminal strip and going out to something else in the circuit. And on the residential boiler, from the 80,000 to 210, there's only one more thing in the circuit, and that is the condensate switch. So, to check the condensate switch, I'm going to show you from the side of the boiler. It can be diagnosed from the front. But for you to see, I've removed three screws on the front. I'm going to lift my panel here. I'm going to remove the three screws here on the top. And now this side panel will lift it right out of position. Okay, so now what happens here, and the reason I was still showing, I had disconnected the condensate switch for this example. So uh, we left this TB8 safety chain, it then comes to the condensate switch, out of the switch, back to the control board. There is a float assembly inside here, so if your neutralizer is backed up or your condensate line is backed up for whatever reason, that float assembly will come to the top and shut off the boiler as a safety precaution. Uh, we do not want to flood the chamber. 
So very simply what we can do here is we can either measure this or ohm this out to see if this is opened or closed or these spade connections can plug right in to each other. So very simply what I'm going to do here just for testing purposes is I'm going to close that circuit and now we'll go back to our screen. Now you can see our 63 hold code has gone away. Uh, right now we're in a 62 hold, fan speed not proved, that's because the fan needs to go to pre-purge. That 62 hold will go away shortly once the fan gets to full uh, percentage. And then it will reappear again a second time uh, as that fan now needs to modulate down to ignition point. So, uh, never leave your condensate switch jumped out. Now that we've diagnosed the problem, now you need to repair the problem. Okay, so now that we've diagnosed our condensate, I will put the condensate switch back together. This is just a series circuit, so it does not matter which switch on this it goes to. So again, power comes in, out, back to the control panel. Uh, I'm going to put the boiler back together, and that is a quick summary of our 63 hold code on the safety chain. Never leave the switch jumped out, identify your problem, and correct your problem. If you have any questions, please contact the factory at 1-800-900-9276. Thank you.